let's talk about the Coldplay thing. Can you talk oh, about shit. that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because all right, let me tell you something. Because so, I ended up working for Sabrosa, and your situation with Coldplay is the reason that they insisted that I clear every single song that we put out for Sabrosa, and I. Like, thank you, Joe Simon, for getting for getting <laughs> in legal trouble because it taught me how to like reach out to artists and get music sync licensing agreements going. This is like before, yeah. I think maybe music libraries existed, but I didn't know about it. So I'm having these, I'm finding people on Bandcamp, having them print out a contract, sign it, take a <laughs> take a picture, and send it back for a little like bike check video. You know, it was it was overkill, but it was a good learning experience. So anyway, yeah. Uh, so I know that you it was a it was a promo for a wedding. It was just like a the teaser video that was on your Vimeo, but it went super viral. And then tell me tell me the story. What happened? I mean, I think it was it, it's all it's so funny. So I, it was for Tony Romo's wedding, Dallas yeah. Cowboys quarterback. I don't even watch like I call it sports ball. I watch no sports. Yeah, I sports just, ball. I, like the, <laughs> I call it all sports ball. I'm like, I don't care. <laughs> um, so. And everybody's like, you're filming his wedding. I was like, I don't even know who this guy is. Like, who is this? <laughs> just Tony? Yeah, I like Tony. Tony. That's a good guy. Um, so yeah, so it shot his his wedding. Um, they're like, you, we want this song in our video. I was like, cool, great, I'll put it in there. And then, you know, I did like a highlights video. And then I, um, you know, it's obviously a, you know, famous-ish people. And they usually don't want that on the internet. And so I emailed the, um, his, the wife, I think it was Candace was her name. I could be wrong. And I was like, hey, do you mind if I post this this video? She's like, oh, yeah, that's cool. No problem. I was like, oh, rad. Okay, cool. And so, like, I was in Italy at the time on another job. And so I posted it went and went to sleep. Um, and obviously, since I was in Europe, the time difference, like, it was, like, 11 p.m. or whatever. And so it was probably midday in the U.S. when I posted it. Yeah. So the next morning, I wake up to, like, my inbox is exploding. Um and it's like all these her one of them were for her being like hey take the video down like it's it's out of control and i'm like what and like all these news networks he emailed like we oh, license no the footage shit. we license the footage like and then it was like blasted everywhere on espn and like every sports network all the news channels were like playing snippets of it wow um without I didn't my know permission this ever yeah. happened you know i never gave my permission so like i pulled it down but at that point it was too late because once it's on the internet it, it's hard to strip it's everywhere. something off the internet it's right. everywhere yeah. And so I don't even think Coldplay even knew the video existed. It's just their manager or management or whoever got wind of it then came to sue me for using it. Um, and, you know, it's not like, you know, Tony and those people had to deal with it. It's like I had to deal with it. Um, and I had to end up paying like out of court, like a, a fee, you know, which I was more, which was more than I, than I made from the whole, the whole wedding video to begin with, you know, so it's yeah. just so stupid. Yeah. So are you allowed to talk about it at this point? I remember. So I have I listen, no idea. I listened to your 2000. It's probably still an NDA. Podcast. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, we won't go too far. But yeah, I, in the uh, in the interview, you wrote out like, well, I can't t say much, but it's XX, XXX amount of dollars. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> too so, much. It was yeah. too much. That's but a, also I think, and at that time too, it's not like I was making a lot of money. So to me that like, that was a, like, that was a lot of money. I was like, fuck you know like yeah it's did you know did you have to pay it all at in one in one check or did you do set up yeah. like a payment plan type thing no i was paid in one in one check at that point um but something i did realize later that i you know i didn't know now i should have gotten legal counsel to to help me figure it out because i did have insurance and my insurance at that time probably would have covered it huh. because if you have if you have liability insurance for your company that's one of those things that's part of your liability insurance is, um, uh, I can't remember the exact legal term for it, but it, it would, it covers things like that where you miss, you know, you, you use something that's out of license or whatever. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. So, dude, that's so I had, so had cool. it happen to, yeah. I had it happen to another friend and he just uses insurance. I was like, you motherfucker. Reach the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed that clip. If you want to support me and the podcast, just subscribe and share the show with your friends the full episode is in the description so if you haven't go check that out it's also available on spotify and apple podcasts and wherever you listen to podcasts and uh the goal is just to grow so if you could share the show with your bmx homies that'd be dope if anybody that you know that is a bmx nerd and would enjoy this podcast do me that favor and we'll keep all these clips coming and, and one episode every week so i'll see you in the next one thank you